Hi guys, it's Belle here and I am back with Marguerite Miller and it is week 49. Can you believe it? Um, so yeah, so don't forget to put that hashtag in if you want to see here on YouTube and Instagram what everyone else is doing. Let's get started. I found my book, so let's get my page out. Look, we've used nearly all this book up, guys. I am so happy. All right, let's get it turned. So this one, it's going to be themed. And it's going to be a particular theme. <laughs> one that's been running through a lot of this year's stuff. So, favourite word. So a favourite word, I had to think about this. And then um, it goes with theme, but I have chosen the word mystery. And I've got a vintage dictionary definition here. Something grey. So I have this old photo. This is kind of greyish. Um, get it there. Something you can sit on. So we've got this little um, illustration here of this young lady sitting on a chair writing. Are any of you getting the theme yet? Are you screaming it? Uh, a drawing or illustration? Well, this is an illustration. So I'm just going to use that as both something you can sit on and the illustration. Something found in your bag or purse. I've got a pen because I always carry a pen with me. And then something mechanical. We're going to go with a clock. So I have this tissue paper that I may use. But I also have like some images, um, just lots of random bits and some cogs that we can also use. Are any of you getting the theme yet? Could it be? Could it be? Mrs. Agatha Christie. Yes. Yes. Give yourself a clap if you got that right. Um, just in case you're new here and don't understand why I'm going on like that. It's because I'm a huge Agatha Christie fan. So, I decided when I was thinking about grey and everything, um, I came across an image, or I had a little Tim Holtz person, um, and then that was making me think mechanical, you've got steampunk, which is Victorian, what do I carry in my bag, all that kind of thing, right? And then I found, I knew I had um, this pen illustration somewhere, or this pen. I think it's an illustration too. Yeah, it is. Um, that I wanted to use. Sorry, I was picking something up that had fallen there. And uh, I was looking at the guy and he was giving me a thingy. And I just thought, oh my gosh, do you know pen? Writers. One of my favourite words only because it's my one of my favourite tropes in books. Or one of my favourite kind of books. Cozy Mysteries. Um... And there's not that much overhang there, actually, so I can just cut that. And who do we know who is one of the queens of Cozy Mysteries or Murder Mysteries? Mrs. Agatha Christie. And who do we know who loves Miss Agatha Christie? Yes, this crafter here is a huge Christie fan, which, if you've seen a few of these, <laughs> some of them have links to Miss Agatha Christie. And then when I was thinking mechanical, I thought clocks. Because, you know, there's always time running out in Murder Mysteries. But also there is um, a murder mystery called uh, Three Blind Mice. And I believe The Mousetrap is based on a play or a short story by her called um, Hickory Dickory Dock or something like that. So, anyway, well, that's what I'm thinking. So we've got this and I felt like this was a young Agatha writing her first novel this looks like the village a miss marple village it looks like st mary's mead or what i imagine st mary's mead would look like so if you're not an agatha christie fan a lot of this is probably like what what are you talking about but if you don't know agatha christie is famous for having one of her um detectives i haven't got my ruler nearby let's see if we can use this probably not but let's try anyway uh one of her detectives is a little old lady called miss marple who lives in a little um english village called st mary mead um and it just that 
this image put me in mind of a lot of old English villages actually um, but particularly St Mary Mead so and I've got lots of favourite words but obviously one of my favourite words is mystery specifically cosy mystery I love cosy mysteries guys I just like I like the coziness, I like the people, I like the fact that there's not too much graphic anything on the page. You know everything's going to be solved, although saying that, some of Agatha Christie's mysteries are a little bit dark. Um, you know there's not going to be too much kind of yuckiness, shall we say. I feel like I want the pen like a cross. Or something. I'm not quite sure where I want the pen yet. Maybe I want the pen across here. But then I've got her and you're not going to see the pen. Unless I have it sticking out. Possibly. Possibly. So favourite word. Something grey. Illustration. Something you can sit on. Something in my bag. Now we're going to look at clocks. I really do like this clock. I can ink it up even more. So let's cut that out. Yeah. So this just made me think of the title of one of her pieces. Um, that is not at all straight but that's fine and we're going to rip it a little bit so yeah why not why not that's what I say I'm not going to get to see enough of the village if I do that are we so I feel like I want more of the village so we could put her more down here and she's plotting she's plotting a, her a Miss Marple mystery although I don't think that was her first mystery but um, that's what I'm saying she's plotting uh, yes so I hope you guys are all okay I can't believe that we're close to the end of the year I'm sure you're hearing everyone saying that and you're like oh god Sick of hearing everyone saying that. But yes, it's just crazy. It really is. And I kind of want to do, I know it's weird, but I kind of want to do like a cluster here. But then not so much up there. I want to try something different, I suppose. Work with a different layout. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's just fun having a go at things. So do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to ink this a bit more because I feel like even though it's inked, even though it's stamped in um, sepia tones, I wanted more. So first of all, I'm going to put this pen up and I'm going to put it up the side. We'll replace this glue soon. But yeah, so... Sorry if you're fed up of hearing me talk about Agatha Christie, but, you know, reading and cosy mysteries are a huge part of what I do besides crafting. And so I feel like that's what you're going to get. <laughs> Just part of who I am. So let's put that on there like that. Over a little bit. No, there. Like that. So I would love to know what one of your favourite words is down below. I mean, another one of my favourite words, which I was thinking of, was the word cinnamon. I mean, that's what I'm thinking about at the moment is... Oh, gosh, the wind is really getting up. Uh, cinnamon and ginger and all that good stuff because it's that time of year. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about at the moment. But it didn't work with the bits I was getting together. And my brain does work better when it's a theme, as we have since discovered, if you have been with me all year. Themes or memory, that's what my brain works best with. I look. So, yeah, I do like the word mystery. 
I always loved Scooby-Doo as well as a child and like all those kind of mysteries. Cozy mysteries. Games that, you know, Cluedo, all that kind of thing. It's just a thing I love. And it even sounds good, doesn't it? Mystery. Has good sound to it. Okay, so we do have some clocks. I'm wondering if I want to kind of add... Like, they don't have the bit in the middle, but they've got the numbers. And we could just have some of the numbers cut off, couldn't we? I think that'd work. This, again, is just a die cut that I had in my stash. Do I want to back it so that it looks more like a clock? Or do I want to put it on like that? Hmm. I feel like I want to back it slightly just to give it a little bit more summer, a little summer summer. So let's do that. But what colour do I want to back it with? We've got this brown here. No, I think the white stands out best, or the cream, I should say. So yeah, let's back this on. I really do need my new one. But I am using every last bit of it up, so... That is what I intend to do. Put that on there. Gosh, that wind is crazy out there at the moment. Absolutely crazy. Right. I'm still going to cut it right against here because I don't need the white on that side. And then we can just ink it a little bit. We can put that up a bit. So that we still see the clocks down here. Yes! Like I said, it's a different layout today. But why not try a few different things? I feel like that's what um, the collage challenge, well, can do. I mean, you don't know what the prompts are going to be. So that's always fun trying to work out how to place them together in a way that you hope is aesthetically pleasing. Not always, but you hope. Um, yeah, I have some cogs. And I feel like, is the black too black? Let's have a look. I've got all sorts of colours here. So let's have a look and see if I can find something that I like better. That one's too similar. I feel like I do like the black. Have a look a bigger black one and that almost looks like the hand of a clock as well okay let's do that let's cut it about here um yeah so you're challenged enough with the prompts anyway because you don't know what they're going to be and how they're going to work together but it's also usually just for you like these collages are just something you're doing for yourself which means Oh, the problem with shiny die cuts when you do it on shiny card um, which means that it doesn't matter if it's not uh, perfect or you don't always like the final uh, look of it because you get to play and challenge yourself and do something a little bit different so we've got that. I had some of these. They're from an ink um, a stamp set that I have. I was wondering if I wanted like something like that down here. Maybe he's the murderer. Um, let's have a look. I like this because it's not as clear. And then we've got the globe. But we do have another clock as well. Just to really get that clock idea in. She's really working with the clock idea. <laughs> and so that could work. Let's have a look and see if I've got anything else. Oh, we've got some with writing. Not sure I like that colour against it, though. And balloon. Having a look. I've got some that are different colours. I mean, I really like the top hat. And I could try and ink it. Let's see what it looked like slightly inked. 
Or maybe, oh, we've got someone in a plane or a train. <gasps> Obviously, her most famous or one of her most famous, Murder on the Orient Express. It's got to be the train, hasn't it, guys? It's got to be. And maybe that can be Praro. <gasps> it's got the stash. We've got the train. Yes, I wanted them up there. No, they're going to go here, guys. They are going to go here. Okay. I'm in my own head with this one now. And yeah, try out different layouts. Try out different things. Play with different mediums. Just have fun with it. Maybe this is Agatha sitting in her St Mary's Mead place writing Murder on the Orient Express. Oh! <gasps> Yes. See, I even had an Agatha other way and thinking Miss Marple and now I'm thinking. And obviously they're running out of time clocks because the train is going to be stopping soon. I'm wondering if I like one another cog like just down here. It makes me think of the train on the track. Let's actually put the other part of that, couldn't we? See, as we've used it, we might as well use it, use it. Up there. No, I'm going to have everything down here. It's a layout. I'm going. To, that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Oh, yes, it's all come together now. It's Agatha Christie sitting in her little village. Similar to um, St Mary Mead where she has the lovely Miss Marple. But she is thinking about... Mr. Poirot and her murder on the Orient Express story. Oh, love it. They're running out of time because the train has a schedule to meet. Hence the clock. And it also makes me think of the mechanics in a train. So we are done, guys. Oh, I'm so pleased with how that's come together. And you're seeing how my brain works as I'm doing things. So, yes, yeah, so I've clustered it all here. I don't know. It's a bit different. So, favourite word, we've got mystery. Something grey, this image in the background. And this is quite grey. Something you can see on a chair. A drawing or illustration. Both this and this is an illustration. Something to be found in your bag or purse. A pen. I always carry one. And something mechanical. Clocks. So that's what we have, guys. What do we think? Do, do, do. Have you read Murder on the Orient Express? Do you know the murderer? Um, if not, it's a great book. Do read it. But that's today's. That's week 49. Don't forget, I've put all the links to Marguerite Miller in the description box down below. As well as I have a playlist of my 2023 collage challenge and everything up to date. Nope. Completed 2022 collage challenge and everything up to date in 2023. Um, do go check those out. I like to theme. I like to use memories if you don't know already. And thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now, guys.